Hi and welcome to this tutorial. Here I'm going to show you how to sort a data set or database in Excel by only the beginning contents of a cell, the ending contents, or the middle contents. So the values in the beginning, such as here south, let me zoom in real quick, the values in the end say one, or a combination of values in the middle of a cell. So if you'd like to get this workbook go to teachexcel.com and you can download it there. Now what I've got here as you can clearly see is an employee list so just um, within the database got their names their jobs email phone number etc but in the left column I have their ID number and um, say I had 10,000 employees or 10,000 products uh, really anything could be imported from a CSV file but the point is that I would like to filter this data by values in column A right here for the beginning of these cells, the end of these cells, or the middle. So say south, west, north, and east, these are all regions, right? So I want to see what salesmen or what employees I have only in the southern region, the western region, northern or eastern region. Um, so you can, uh, I'm going to show you how to do that. So um, first you want to do or the first thing is to go to the data tab then in the sort and filter box click the filter button now if you prefer to stay on the home tab you can simply go all the way to the right sort and filter and go from there but I prefer the data tab so data tab sort and filter and click filter now if you need to know how to use um, filtering in Excel or what it actually does and is then I suggest you go to one of the previous tutorials I did for data analysis in Excel and that'll walk you through everything you need to know about it. But anyway, make sure you have headers on your data like this because you need a row that will not change when you filter. And um, then we can go ahead and start to filter. So what you want to do is click the down arrow like this. Now a little bit of this is off the screen, but you can see everything you need to. Go to text filters, then go down here you see all these different choices. Well, let's filter by region. I want to see what employees I have uh, in the south. So click begins with. And we click begins with because the region part of the ID is in the beginning of the cell. So begins with. This window opens up. Now, really all we want to do is to type text in here. But if you're not sure um, what the text or the spelling is of the cell, click this drop down menu and it will list all of the rows in the ID column. So you can see, okay, I can do all of these different things. And you'll also notice, maybe hard to see, um, that it has grouped them. So west is all grouped together, south is all grouped together, so you can see that there. Now we want to do south first, so I'm going to type south and you can see here ID number begins with south. If we click this, we have all of these other choices here. But we're going to stick with begins with, so begins with south. And if you wanted to, you could have another option down here. And I'll show you how to do that in one second. So click OK. And now you can see, really cool, we just filtered the ID number by the first word in it, south. So these are all the employees that are in the south. You can see that it's filtered because these rows right here are in blue, not black, and it skips rows, right? One, two, five, eight. So you know it's filtered. Now let's go ahead and um, show employees from the south and the north. So I'm going to click this filter button. Text filters begins with south and I want to go down to begins with north. So all of the employees in the south and the north. Hmm, didn't work so well. And I'm sure it's because I clicked or I selected and instead of or. So let's go ahead and go back there. ID, text filters, begins with. All right, so here we want to do south or north. Sorry about that. If you do and, it has to include both of them. So it begins with south or begins with north. And then we can see all of the salesmen for the southern regions and the northern regions. Now let's go ahead and um, 
take off the filter real quick. To do that, simply unclick the fil or click the filter button right here and start over again. So this time I want to filter by the end of the cell. So say all of the numbers in um, these cells mean something, right? So what I want to do is only display the cells that end in the number two. I don't know, maybe that signifies their pay grade or something. So what you want to do, go to filter, text filters, ends with, ends with two. Click OK. And so we have the employees listed here where the ID number ends in a two. Now I'm going to clear this filter just like that. Okay, the last thing is I want to only display the employees that have a one for the beginning of the um, of their ID number. So right here you can see a one and then the only other employee is right down here. Now the way I'm going to do that is to look for a dash one. So click the drop down arrow, let's go to text filters, this time click contains. Now for contains, if you hit if you just clicked one, you would get all of the cells, say there were other employees here, and you had one in between the ID numbers, you would get those as well. So we want to make sure that we absolutely don't do that. Only begins with a one. So to do that, we do dash one, because we know that there's not a dash in the middle of the number in the ID number. So it contains dash one, hit OK. So now we got the two employees that have ones for the beginning of their ID number. Now really quickly I'm going to show you what it would look like, so say south17 if we did not do dash 1 but instead just did 1. So text filters contains 1. Now we have this third employee, Bart Simpson, south717. So that's why it's important to include the dash 1 to make sure that you get the beginning of the number. So that's pretty much it for showing you how to do filter this way. Um, drop down menu, text filters. You have a bunch of different filters and um, <clears throat> if you go down to custom filter then you can simply go over here and select any of these other options. But you can get here if you chose any of the other options to begin with anyway, right? So you can select as greater than if you want to do it with numbers, less than, less than or equal to. So you have a lot of, um, of options to filter your data by and it is a very useful feature to do. So if you'd like to get this workbook, go to teachexcel.com. You can download it there. Otherwise, this is the, it, the end of the tutorial.